good evening, and thank you for joining us again for our Advent devotional. I want to return this evening to John the Baptist. You know, John was dynamic, he was edgy, he was exciting, he didn't follow the latest fashion trends, he was controversial, definitely a charismatic figure, and that meant no one could really ignore this man of the wilderness. He attracted followers, people hung on to his words, and looked to him as someone who could turn the culture around. Now, John was a necessary player in God's plan of redemption. His role and mission were set long before John came on the scene. And so in other words, John was a good thing. His ministry was pleasing to God, and John knew that he was never meant to be the main thing. And one of the things that sets John apart was his clear recognition early on that he was going to move off stage for the Messiah. Now, he didn't stay around too long like so many of our favorite TV shows end up doing. Instead, even as people came out to John, he was reminding them that he wasn't enough for them. You know, there are a lot of things, especially this time of year, claiming that they will be enough for us. Lots of things that argue they're all we need. And the truth is, many of those things are good things. But they are good things claiming to be the main thing. And whenever we substitute good things for the main thing, we ultimately end up with despair, anxiety, and and restlessness. And so just think about John. He was calling the people of Israel to reform and repent. His ministry was all about the need to return to God and recommit to living obedient lives. And that's a good thing. It's a thing to be encouraged. We, we can't do without it. But even moral reform can't be the main thing. You know, what happens when moral reform becomes the main thing? Well, people are left wondering if they're ever good enough. And most likely, it leads to self-righteousness and pride and then all sorts of other sins. And what it does is it ultimately throws us back on ourselves. And once that happens, who knows what will come next. But that's what makes John's ministry so important. He called the people to repent and reorient their lives. But he made it clear that that wasn't the ultimate or main thing. The main thing was that the Messiah was on his way. And only the Messiah could usher in the change that was desperately needed. Only the Messiah could, re- could bring about the cleansing that could wipe away the ravages of sin. Right? There are many good things for you to celebrate this year. And it's been a difficult and unusual year. But the main thing hasn't changed. All that has happened this year hasn't diverted our course. Maybe plans have shifted, but our hope certainly has not. And so once again, we are in Advent, preparing to celebrate the great news that God has come to us, that he took our nature to redeem us. And as Christians, our lives do not need to be marked by despair, anxiety, and restlessness Because like John, we know the main thing. We know about the Savior who has come into our broken, sinful world to redeem it all. And so I encourage you, be a John this time of year. Be a voice in your family and among friends that cries out, The one we need has come. He is Jesus. He is our peace. He is our salvation. Thanks be to God.